So Hare Krishna, uh, during the time of Goranga Bhajan Band, I was asked to be the announcer and uh, maybe we can request the, the Maharaj to sit here. You can sit together. <laughs> Devotees are very humble, so... Uh, I was asked to be the announcer at least for the smaller programs when the bigger programs came in Russia uh, that uh, uh, Harikesh Maharaj gave the announcements during this time at that time he was there and uh, I would like to, to all get you a little bit on board what uh, this time was. Mahaprabhu told us that 25 years ago uh, the Goranga Bhajan Band came to uh, Serbia and gave a big program in uh, Belgrade. So I would like to tell you a little bit of how that was, how that came about, and then we will hear some. Uh, bhajans by uh, Krishna, uh, by Swaminas uh, Bhakti, by Baba Maharaj, a typical melody from that time. And also, we will ask Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, who was uh, one of our 19 gods, he was a singer uh, there to sing. Mm. Yeah. And then, uh, if times we will ask the devotees, uh, the Maharajas, to share. We will also today accept an honorary member who is really the wildest Kirtan leader of all of us here. Uh, His Holiness Kadamba Kandana Maharaj. We will not actually, we will say the most energetic Kirtan leader at, at this moment. Uh, See, Goranga Bhajan Group was formed with the idea to create an a impression in the uh, new people. It was not a group which was formed for devotees. Now in order to reach large audiences of new people, we felt it is good if we design a program which is both relevant to them and which is relatable to them. This is the idea of a preacher always is how can I reach people who cannot be were not reached before and how will I um, tweak my message for arrange my messages in such a way uh, that the people can relate to it and accept it and even participate in it. And uh, the discussions which went on amongst the older devotees and the members of this, uh, you could say, le legendary preaching band in, in, uh, in the West, the discussions were all centered around these two questions. How can we present Krishna consciousness in a way which is, which uh, the people can relate to? So, um, Prabhupada had written about this in letters. Letters which we circulated, letters which we were very aware of. Um, in one letter, um, which Srila Prabhupada wrote to an earlier ISKCON leader, Hansa Dutta. Um, he described that we should have a cultural program where we should have an, he said, electronic show, an, an electronic slideshow. He also wrote, Prabhupada wrote at other times, that he would teach us melodies where people would dance and uh, uh, do these. Uh, 
and uh, participate. Mm. And so we went through these letters of Srila Prabhupada. He also said we should dress in different colored dotis. We did, uh, 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 because the stage uh, requires a cultural presentation. It's not necessary uh, a monk, uh, a theological uh, thing. It is a cultural program. So, uh, yes, we were talking about this and really our discussions were all about how can we present Krishna consciousness in such a way that it is uh, relevant and relatable. I believe His Holiness Indadona Maharaj has uh, picked, uh, he has visited us a few times. I do not claim that he learned from us, that, that I, I don't say, but I know that he developed uh, preaching programs which now attract also the same numbers and also more numbers in, in India than Guranga Bajambel attracted. He has taken this idea further by having very cultural programs which are uh, really um, at the level of the state of arts, you call it, really developed. Uh, theater critics, musical critics write very uh, good about the program. So this type of preaching is very important. It is meant uh, to attract new types of people who have no, no, who had no earlier contact with Krishna consciousness. And therefore, we, when we do this, we do things differently than a traditional temple program. Goranga Bhajan Band uh, and more its little brother Nityananda group was severely criticized by members of our society because of the very dynamic uh, presentation. And when we were, became aware of this criticism, we engaged in good discussions with those who criticized and said, it's not meant to replace the traditional worship program in the temples. This is, has to be seen as a bridge program where a, a serious attempt is made to connect with people who don't come from the same spiritual cultural background as the devotees. You know, this is very important to keep in mind. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, Goranga Bajan is not about the uh, wild music, the East meets West, the 30 people who fainted during the concert in Moscow. It's not about Boy George. It's not about um, people coming to us and, and, and becoming fans who, who store shoes and items from us and just like it was done on the Beatles time. This is not, Gorangabad Japan would be very much misjudged if you just look at the external. It was just a sincere uh, effort by devotees to reach out to people. And in that matter, we were really uh, the most very good successes, which maybe my god brothers will feel inclined to share with you. There was news coverage. I mean, in Moscow, do you remember, uh, Maharaj? We, we, had, we had to have three press, press conferences because in the first press conference, only photographers. In the second, only TV. I counted it. It was about nine, 90 different TV programs in one hall. Just to get the Goranga Bhajan bed. And of course, journalists. It was really uh, in some time in the spread of Krishna consciousness, there was divine blessings. Uh, we think of Srila Prabhupada and of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because there came a time when we could just not, no longer understand the amount of, of, of publicity which uh, we had received. So, 
who is holding this Bhakti, uh, Bhakti by Baba Maharaj, gave this morning a presentation, a philosophical presentation. At the end, he talked a little bit about Uranga Bhajan group and then had the idea we should at one time make a revival. You know, now, to, to again rent a huge hall costs a lot of money, you know, uh, and we thought we make the the price effective version of it. <laughs> no money is needed, only the uh, Vaishnavas, uh, great Vaishnavas need to be said. So I would like to request His Holiness Bhakti by Baba Maharaj, who initiated this idea, to come to maybe, if he wants to share something about it, to share and then sing with all of us, and, at the, uh, and then afterwards we will have His Holiness Krishna Chaitanya Maharaj, and then we want to invite our honorary member, whom we embrace with affection, uh, our Kadamba Kanana Maharaj, uh, to also present Kirtan uh, in his unique style to all of us. Good. So now you need Puno applause. <laughs> with the uh, boy George, he also came, Maharaj just mentioned it. And uh, the way we, we were counting the number of uh, people who visited the concert was uh, by the amount of the voluptuaments we distributed. <laughs> and this was uh, 36,000. <laughs> So, and this concert was not, not uh, connected with another concert. It was only a Hare Krishna, a pure Hare Krishna concert. So, 36,000. And uh, there's some kind of feedback, maybe we can reduce the feedback. And uh, needless to say, it was a very, very uh, successful, breathtaking concert. I remember we used to have a, a very large kind of ball, the blown up ball, as large as you know, half of this room. It was really big. And then we used to push it into the crowds and they played with it. <laughs> it was fantastic. And uh, as such an Maharaj at one point, I remember there was one rope lowered from the ceiling. It was a huge, huge hall. And then the rope came down and he just grabbed the rope and then he uh, threw himself over the crowds on the rope like <laughs> It was fantastic. <laughs> and uh, one thing I also remember after the concert, um, people told me that the underground trains, the full, you know, stuffed with people who, who came from the concert and, you know, normal people, carmies, and within the train they had these balloons with Jagannath, you know, Hare Krishna Pons of Moscow balloons and they were all chanting the Maha Mantra in the underground train. How they could, you know, come together chanting. <laughs> it was amazing. 
<clears throat> the red square was you know, packed with people chanting and, and uh, you know, a, a really tremendous effect. And uh, I was hoping we could continue with this kind of concert. I had also many ideas how to make it more profitable. And, uh, but somehow Krishna had a different plan, or we had a different plan. <laughs> I think rather we had a different plan. But I'm really, really hoping that one day we could revive a similar kind of concert. Maybe n not necessarily 30 for 36,000 people, but maybe for 120,000 people. <laughs> so I will sing one uh, particular melody we used to play, and it's a Krishna Prema melody, beautiful melody, and uh, so I hope we can uh, get into the mood of the Goranga Bhajan band, uh, Kirtans and music. Hare Krishna. Somebody fix this microphone stand. Hare Krishna. I hope I will remember the chorus. <laughs> it was long ago we used to play this. <laughs> Can you give a little more juice? It's a Goranga Bhajan band concert. We need more juice, more power.
The next bhajan will be performed by really the devotee who has performed in the bhajan part of Goranga Bhajan Band's presentations uh, the musical uh, color of it because uh, Krishna Chaitanya Swami had such a jazzy voice and a jazz-filled uh, uh, presentation. He, it was him who, who, who really sang most of the kirtans. And, uh, uh, and now he's a little elderly and he has gray hair. Uh, <laughs> but he, you will see the jazz has not left him. <laughs> uh, I will request Krishna and say, psh, 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 Bodhisiliosni. Uh, I will uh, request Krishna Chaita Prabhu to address us a little bit about his perspective of Goranga Bhajan Band, share with us some memory, and then uh, uh, enchant us with his unique way of presenting Bhajan. Hare Krishna. Please give now a full applause. Full applause. So, um, the Goranga Bhajan Band initially was not anything official. Uh, we used to do programs, public programs, as Sachin Alan Maharaj was saying, it was about reaching out. So we would have small programs, sometimes 50, sometimes 40, sometimes 40, sometimes 50. Uh, a big program for us in those days was 200 people. Uh, and at one point, the idea came, and it was, I believe, in former Yugoslavia that this happened. The idea came among devotees, maybe we could sell tickets in the schools. And that was the big turning point, at which point, uh, I believe the first program was in Yugoslavia, was it in Zagreb? We had something like 2,000. So, and so from 200 to 2,000 people coming, we went, wow, uh, this is potentially something uh, very big. And so then it expanded from there. We had a program in um, the Ludova in, uh, in Wrocław, Poland. And... Um, an estimated 6,000 people came, which was way over the number of permitted people in the hall. Um, the police were all there, and they knew that there were too many people there. But they saw that all the people were so peaceful. I mean, they were very enthusiastic, but they were completely peaceful. They were not doing anything wild or crazy, and so they allowed it to go on. And so we went from 50 to 200 to 2,000 to 6,000, and uh, then we went on from there to several, several different venues. One venue I remember in Poland was in an, in an ice skating rink. <clears throat> ice skating. You remember? It was freezing cold. We were all wearing thick, you know, jackets, and um, <laughs> and uh, all the people were, you know, ready to dance because it was so cold. <laughs> so you had to move if you wanted to be warm. So that was very nice. Um, I wanted to mention, um, t since we're going down memory lane, we should remember who else was in the Goranga Bhajan band. The leader of the band uh, was Hari Kesh Swami, Hari Kesh Maharaj. He was very much a motivation for devotees to attract uh, people to sell tickets. And um, yeah, he was, he was really the mainstay of the whole, the whole thing.
there was also uh, our, we had two, two devotees from Serbia. Serbian Yatra Ki! We had Marana Radja, the drummer, and this was also a major kind of shift, the idea of having a, a drum set. This was like, ooh, where are we going now? You know, it's, it's going off the deep end of Krishnagana or what, but uh, it was concluded that we have to have drums. If you're going to have dancing, you need drums. And so Madhanaranya was doing this, Madhanaranya Prabhu, and Bhairavesha Prabhu, a very talented musician, keyboard and uh, keyboard. Singing. Yes. We had a bass player. Yes, we had Nasinga Babu from Split. <laughs> oh, this makes me laugh. <laughs> he always had this funny look on his face, little grin. <laughs> anyway, uh, for a short time we had from Amer America, uh, we had Titik um, Shavak Karunika. Uh, with his 1970s style of uh, guitar playing. And of course, yeah, I was kind of saving him for last. Uh, we had Krishna Prema Prabhu and his wife Nitya Tripta. Mother Tri Nitya Tripta was uh, the, producing these amazing multi vision shows in the technology of the time. Nine projectors. Uh, coordinated by computer, uh, and uh, and we also had some uh, some pantomimists uh, at Dhamma different Dhamma times. Damodar Prema, Damodar Deva, Damodar Deva. 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 Any other Dhamma. names? Dharanidara. 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 Yes. Dharanidara. 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, okay. Yes. 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 Toshana Krishna is the father. Yeah. Murari Chaitanya. Murari Chaitanya. Yeah, son of Toshana Krishna. Yes, okay. Okay, we had a dancer from Los Angeles, Lila Bhatti, I don't remember this, but yeah, so they were coming and going. We also did a tour uh, one time in Romania, and uh, we had some Hotra Swami with us. Uh, and there were a couple of other devotees who just came for that tour. Okay, uh, so much could be said. I just wanted to say, in a way, we're doing this a bit backwards because the sequence of the programs that we had, we would start with so-called uh, traditional bhajan, uh, and sometimes Bhakti Bhai Bhava Swami was uh, leading uh, the, the bhajan, and sometimes I was leading. And then after, okay, I need help. After that, then we had what? After the bhajan, we had lecture. And then we had a Bharat Natyam dance, and then then lecture. Then we had lecture. We had arti on stage. We had beautiful Gorni Thai deities, uh, which were made by Vainatea Prabhu. From Serbia. <laughs> Serbia. <laughs> east, east meets west. No, <laughs> east meets west. Okay, but it's, now we had this the multivision show also, and we had the pantomime. Anyway, it was one thing after another. It was a big, long. It, it was a long show, but at least for three hours. And uh, we had prasadam at each program, right, for everyone. So some, you know, we had 36,000 gulab jamans <laughs> and uh, music like that. Hmm? Bliss Burgers. Bliss Burgers. In Ljubljana, okay. 
Prasadam is free. Yeah. So, yeah, people would, you know, go away from these programs just floating, and then they'd say, years later, I saw you, I heard you at the Goranga Bhajan. You know, people with gray hair saying, I was there. <laughs> yeah, so, that's how it was. So, okay, I'm going to do more of the bhajan style that we did. Uh, yeah, one of those oldie but goodie melodies. And, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Hare
and he will now conclude the evening.